In this video, you will learn how to work with the camera settings, take pictures and export videos or 2D previews. Before we start, save your work by going to the top menu, clicking on the disk icon, selecting a new project slot and hitting the save button. Next, head to the camera section. On the left you can see the camera features – photo, video, angle presets and 2D preview. Each feature has its own save as and camera settings windows. Let's start with the camera settings. In this section you can zoom in or out and adjust the aperture. A lower value here means a higher amount of blur in the background. You can also change the arm length, which is basically how far the camera is from the car. You can keep an automatic focus or switch to a manual. If you choose a manual focus, turn on the help plane to see where the focus is placed. Move the plane by changing the distance. A lower number means the focus plane is near to the camera. Once you are finished, hide the plane. Other settings which you can adjust are Roll, Pitch and Yaw. In the Save As window, you can set the frame size and resolution, enter a file name and choose a folder for saving. To take a photo, click on the Take Shot button. Go to Video to see the video sequences. You can choose from Slow, Fast, Handheld sequences or rotations around the car. Preview a sequence by sliding on the timeline or hitting the Play button. The sequences are editable, so you can change the camera settings, frame size and the resolution too. Once your sequence is ready, click on the Export Video button. Angle presets are saved camera positions. You can choose from 9 views, which you can edit in the camera settings. Once you take a picture, close the camera. By creating 2D previews, you can export more views of the car at once. Hit the Render Preview button and wait until the views are ready. You can select a template or edit the views in the camera settings. After editing, render the previews again and save the picture. The final image or video quality depends on your computer's performance. We recommend having a powerful graphic card, like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 or a higher version. You can find the link to download 3D Changer in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about 3D Changer, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.